Hey everyone. So uh, I'm here live for like two or three minutes to answer some questions. Uh, I already saw a few coming in. So if you have any more questions about BDC to us, please uh, share them and I'll try to address them. Uh, so first question that I got is, uh, will I be able to put my website on a .BTC domain? Uh, and this is something that I think is pretty exciting and, and fun as a transitionary period. So yeah, the answer is yes, as uh, you might have seen in the demo. So uh, like myself, like many of you, you already have a name so or a domain somewhere on the conventional DNS system, uh, an old-fashioned domain name. And you'll be able to point your .BTC name to one of those so that you can start taking advantage of the name, even though your website can still be posted on the web 2.0. Uh, internet, if you will. Uh, a second question is, uh, how much does a domain name cost and how many can you register? So how many does it cost? That really depends on what kind of currency you're talking about. So uh, a .BTC name as of right now and for the foreseeable future will cost two SDX as a flat fee. So it doesn't matter if your domain name is a few characters long or really long, it, it's up to you. As long as it's available, it's yours for two SDX. So how much that is in US dollars or in Bitcoin or something, that, that's something you'll have to figure out at that time. But it's going to be two SDX for the foreseeable future. Um, so how many can you register? That depends on how many SDX you have. So once you sign in and you have an account, you can keep grabbing as many domains as you like, as you would on any different conventional DNS or domain name provider. Uh, so how does btc.us compare to something like unstoppable domains or, or ENS? Uh, so it's it's quite similar. So BNS, uh, as mentioned in the presentation, is a smart contract that deals with this name resolution. So very similar to ENS. Um, one big thing for BTC names is that you will also be able to use those in the existing Stacks application. So you can use, I could, for instance, use Marvin.btc as my identifier in different applications, uh, sign in or whatnot. And then it's really up to those applications to add uh, enriched user experiences there. So for instance, uh, to be able to send some SDX or Bitcoin uh, to someone using a wallet. So we just saw Boom Wallet, uh, if they would implement uh, different name resolution uh, options, then that could be a way to use it as well. Um, so you'll be able to attach pretty much all sorts of information to your dot, uh, your BTC name. Uh, so I got a question from Andrew just now, the timeline on when it gets released. Uh, it looks great. Well, thank you. Um, and I, I guess I, I quickly to... to uh, round up what I was saying. So BTC.us is uh, an interface to make it easy to manage these names. So all these names are going to be registered on BNS. Uh, BTC.us is just one of those namespaces, just like the different ones out there. So to get to the question, uh, the timeline of when it gets released, um, I know the, the presentation said timeline and then it said soon. Uh, we're hoping to get this done before the end of next week. So it should be, should be quite soon. Uh, but you can sign up today and uh, be notified uh, via email uh, once we release. So you can grab your name as soon as possible. Uh, a question from Narco, how will you prevent domain squatting? Uh, well, I think that's a very tough thing to answer. And uh, we have a question on that on our FAQ as well. But basically, if someone grabs the name, since this is all decentralized and committed to a, uh, to a blockchain, uh, there's not much you can really do about it once someone grabs a name, right? We want to be sensor resistant and, and, and seizure resistant. So you, you cannot simply take someone's name. Um, so how to prevent it? Well, uh, we'll, we'll have to see um, what's going to happen in practice. But once a name is there and it's owned by someone, there's not really any way to, to grab that name. Um, and we probably don't want to either because that would mean we'd have to hard fork or, or censor it on an application level, which is just against the principles of, of these kinds of names. I think those are all the questions already. Well, in that case, uh, I'll, I'll say again, uh, go to ptc.us, it's live right now, um, sign up and uh, hope to see you there. Thank you.